everybody welcome back to sport bike menace we're going to change the brake pads um i already took the old ones out because i'm just trying to hurry up as you can see uh the old ones are out now these came with shimmies in the back but they don't fit on the new brake pads they're too loose and I i'm just not going to wear them um so when you do have the old ones on and they're squished together you want to push back the piston so you do it while you have the old ones in you get a flathead screwdriver and you stuff it in between there and you push either up and down you got to do both because there's there's four pistons there's the two up top and two in the bottom so you force them up so you can get enough room to push them back into your rotor um so you're gonna need uh what is this a five for these allen keys so you need a five then you need a 12 for your socket that is for the bolt up here and the bolt there's a bolt down there i'll show you guys right now so that's how long it is that's a 12. it's an easy job um it's just tedious but uh yeah you push you take these two pins out and then the, the brake pads fall out um that's basically it and then uh since this is brand new brake pads and brand new rotor it's gonna be a pain in the butt to um put on the caliper itself so now we're just going to tighten this stuff up and then i'm gonna show you guys to do how to do the rear ones i already got that half set up because i changed out my rotors so if you guys want to check out that video on how I did that that was a pain in the butt job too but it had to be done so and I rather do the work myself so I know what what I'm doing for the future and plus it cost it saves me money so now we just spread them apart and it's gonna and again it's gonna be a pain because it got to be spread up part up top also and then try to slide it in between the rotor which ain't gonna be fun Now, since this one is hanging, it's causing me problems. All right, so there we go. I don't even know if you guys are able to see that. Yeah, so I got that caliper hanging. And now these are um aftermarket brake lines, so they're they're not uh they're more heavy duty than your stock ones. You don't want to leave them hanging. These are called like steel braided lines. Uh but you can use bungee cords. I do have bungee cords, it's just again I'm just trying to rush. Uh, I did two videos today. Well, this is my second video, and tomorrow will be another video showing like uh, how good the uh, eBay rotors are and how good the uh, eBay brake pads are. Um, and I got to break them in before I actually do a review on them because it's not going to be like grabby right away. You got to wait a couple of times to to break them in. And there's a right way to break them in. There's a wrong way. The wrong way would be. Uh, doing them too hard pressing your brakes too hard uh you're gonna warp your rotors out because they're gonna get too hot and there's a coating that it has before um before it wears it got to wear that coating off before anything All right, so that one's done. Now you guys can use, you gotta do um, like lubrication. You can lubricate those pins, those pins that I just pushed in to hold the brake pads in place. You can use lubrication so they don't rust. Plus they're easier to come out. 
Uh, I already did that previously, so they still have lubrication on them. Now we're gonna do the back ones. Just the same thing you did on this side is the same thing you're gonna do on that side. Now again, I already cheated on this. So you guys will be able to see what I did. See what kind of tools that I. Uh, anyways, well, I'll figure out the tools later. I already took the old ones out, and here are the old ones. They got like multiple colors. I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, the ones that I had on here previously were the most expensive ones that you could get. They're from the EB, EBC, top of the line. So, right, so there's a bolt here that you're going to take off. And I think that is, let me see, I think that's a 10. Yeah, that's a 10 millimeter socket. So you use a 10 millimeter socket or you can use a... Or you can use a wrench and then uh, there's a pin up here um, it's right here there's a pin and that's gonna be a five just the same way as the front so five millimeter uh, Allen key and a 10 millimeter socket or wrench and that's the tools you're gonna need to do this and then so that one goes here that goes in there and this pin goes up here so that's how that works. And I already pushed the um, pistons back. So everything is ready to go. I just gotta do just put everything in its place. And these ones are more a pain in the butt because, and I'm gonna try to show it when I can. Because there is a clip that needs to stay in place to hold the, the brake pads in place and it moves a lot. And that's the, the biggest problem with that and I'll try to adjust it when I get the other side in and when you adjust one side the other side pops out so be ready for that And then while you got the other side in, you can hold that in place while you, you know, mess around with this one. And now those both are in. And then you gotta rush before it pops out and then run that pin through. Okay, now that the pin is through, I get that Allen key. Once I get this, I'll show you guys what I meant. Okay, so see this part right here, you gotta make sure that it's seated in there. Same thing with the other side, make sure that they're seated in there. And then you can tighten things down. And make sure you don't over tighten, at least this one definitely don't over tighten because that, that's broken on me before. Okay, and then 
another thing that I didn't tell you guys to do, but I can't do it in the front, so I'm gonna tell you guys to do it on this one. Right, so you wanna pump, pump on the, um, on the brakes. Don't go riding without pumping the brakes. So the same thing with the front. I can't do the front yet because I still got the other side to do and I'm gonna damage, because I'm gonna keep pushing on the piston. So the same thing with the front is the same thing you're gonna do with the back. So when you're done, pump your brakes before you go out. So, yeah, I don't know if you can see that. I'm already maxed out. So yeah, just do the same for this side to that side and then this side is a little different. But yeah guys, uh, be safe, ride safe, but make sure you hit the like, subscribe to the channel, put a comment, and ride safe, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.